Hi guys, uh, my name is Dr. Arun Panda. I am a facial plastic surgeon from Mumbai and uh, I specialize in only facial cosmetic surgeries. A surgery which is very close to my heart, uh, we call it as a facial feminization surgery, which incorporates a lot of surgical procedures, both the hard tissues and the soft tissues, which can, you know, kind of create a more feminine appearance. It could be on a transgender or it could be on a cisgender. So what's a transgender and what's a cisgender? A transgender is an individual wherein the patient has got a gender dysphoria and the patient wants to transfer or wants to see himself as a female uh, or it could be the other way around when he wants to feel himself or know himself as a male. In these situations, we do certain surgeries on the face which can be termed as facial feminization surgeries when the patient wants to, you know, kind of see himself as a her or she or we do mm, facial masculization surgery wherein like the patient wants to see herself into a male. So this is called as a transition phase wherein the patient wants to be in a different sex altogether. The patient actually has got a gender dysphoria and wants to see himself or herself in a different sex altogether. So these are the conditions wherein we can do something called as a facial feminization surgery like this patient who looks like a male but then the patient wants actually to appear as a female so we do a lot of surgeries to you know kind of you know make the patient feel that he or she looks like appears like a female. So what I'm going to be talking about here is a facial feminization surgery as I mentioned it can be done on a transgender or cisgender so we have a lot of patients same sex but they want to appear more feminine the face doesn't look very feminine and you have to do certain procedures wherein the pa the face of the patient looks more feminine or the patient looks more like a female so what are the procedures so the procedures can actually be divided as the bone or the soft tissue procedures or we can also divide it in three parts the upper part of the face the middle third and the lower third. So upper third, middle third and the lower third is how we divide the procedures or the surgeries. Now when we talk about the surgeries, let's start from the upper third. So what we do is, this is a facial skeleton which I am going to demonstrate how and what all procedures can be performed to do a facial feminization procedure. Now when we take about the upper third, so the upper third of the face, we do certain procedures on the bone like the supraorbital and the frontal bone. Now what happens is in the male the frontal bone appears to be very prominent. The supraorbital bone or the bone just above your eyeball or just underneath your eyebrows they are very prominent. So what we would like to do is if you want to feminine it or soften the face what we actually do is we open up a flap here from the forehead and trim this part of the forehead or the frontal bone and the supraorbital bone that is the bone just above your eyeballs so that's called as a frontal bone reduction or contouring and the supraorbital bone reduction or contouring so these are the hard tissue surgeries what are the soft tissue surgeries soft tissue means like for example for a male the hairline appears quite way up now what we have to do is we have to bring down the hairline so that's called as a forehead reduction or hairline lowering so this involves putting an incision along the hairline pulling the back part of the scalp front and excising that part of the skin which is extra wherein the forehead size actually reduces so we can do that along with that we also do something called as a eyebrow lift or brow lift so we raise the eyebrows to a situation or a position wherein the eyebrows appear more feminine along with that we also have to do a hair transplant which can camouflage the scar and give a more feminine appearance to a face so that's for the upper third when you come to the middle third of the face there are certain procedures which must be performed like the rhinoplasty. Rhinoplasty, the nose is in the middle of the face and that actually creates a very good appearance either it is a male or a female. So if I want to feminize it, so I have to change the shape of the nose itself like we have to make it slimmer, we have to make it shorter, maybe a little pointed so that the 
face looks more feminine so rhinoplasty is the most important part in the middle third of the face along with that what happens is the cheekbones is more prominent for a female well it's flatter for a male so sometimes what happens is we have to put cheek augmentations to make the face more feminine apart from that what we also do is something called as a lip lift so it's again a soft tissue procedure wherein the lip length which is you know kind of longer for a male we shorten it by doing a bullhorn incision just underneath the nose and we can lift the lip up so that it appears more sensual more feminine so these are the procedures which we perform on the middle third of the face now when you come to the lower third of the face which actually has to be transformed for sure so there are certain procedures like the angle for a male the angle is very acute so if you see here it's almost 90 degrees now what we have to do is we have to make it slanter and we have to cut this angle in a way that when i when i see a patient it should look like a v kind of a thing so it should appear like a v okay so if you see i have reduced this part and if you see it is just coming as a v shape so when you see this v it is more feminine so what all i have to do i have to cut the angle so that is called as an angle contouring or mandibular angle contouring now as i come forward the mandible the lower part of the mandible also need to be contoured so the recontouring of the lower border of the mandible along with that what we have to do is the chin we have to reshape it by doing a chin implant or just recontouring it or by doing something called as a genioplasty procedure wherein i can put chin put the chin forward in a more you know anterior for, place and make it more sharper so that it appears more feminine so once you have done that there are certain other soft tissue procedures which also can be performed along with this to give a more feminine appearance to the face that includes a chin liposuction which is a very important thing you know to you know kind of make the jawline more prominent we can do a dimple plasty which gives a more sensual appearance sometimes we have to do fat grafting where i normally prefer to take the fat from the medial thigh and put it into the areas of the face wherein there is deficiency apart from that some patients of the older age group also ask for a facelift surgery or a neck tightening so these are all additional things which needs to be incorporated seeing the patient consulting with the patient understanding the patient's concerns and then deciding the treatment plan now this is all what we speak about the number of surgeries during a facial feminization surgery another question which we are usually asked can we do it everything in one sitting it becomes very difficult to do all the surgeries in one sitting so we prefer to break it up now how do we break it up would actually depend on the patient the number of procedures involved but if the number of surgeries are limited to four or five we normally prefer to finish it in one sitting but if the number of procedures are like 7 8 9 10 we prefer to like rhinoplasty we break it up into two sittings so that the patient is comfortable and the uh, uh, overall the patient satisfaction also improves and the safety part of the patient is also uh, taken care of um so this is all about facial feminization surgery which can be performed in a transgender or a cisgender apart from that what we also do is something called as a facial masculization surgery if i show you this photograph so it's something like a female it's female to male where we do a lot of you know changes on the face like beard transplant nose and other things but you can see my other a uh, video on facial masculization surgery when when we can do but this procedure this video is meant for facial feminization surgery which i have explained to you step by step and all the procedures involved if you have any queries and if you want to know more about facial feminization surgery if you are looking to soften down your facial profile please get in touch with us and we'll be more than happy to help you we'll be more than happy to guide you through how you can take it forward and if you have any queries dr arun panda you can always follow us on our instagram our facebook and our youtube channel you would see many of your uh, videos which you know kind of we talk about facial plastic surgical procedures thank you so much